गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माई सर अभिषेक घोष एक्चुअली ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट वर स्पेशली आस्किंग बिकॉज ऑफ हैविंग सम प्रॉब्लम ऑन स्टेडियो नेट प्लॉटिंग दे वर आस्किंग सम प्रॉब्लम्स टू बी सॉल्व सो नाउ आई एल बी कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग ओनली ऑन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ स्टेडियो नेट प्रॉब्लम्स the basics of stereo net how this kind of stereo nets are generated this kind of stereo nets how they generated and these things i will be dealing later but for this this is stereo net this is equal area net because this each subdivision each subdivision has equal area so there are another net equal angle net but for normal plotting or structural bedding data or uh, contouring pole contouring this equal area area net or smith net is generally used equal angle net or is called wolf net but this lesson is for those who has a clear idea about stereo net that these longitudinal lines these longitudinal lines are called red circle and these latitudinal curves curvatures are called small circle so if this is the basic of stereo net on a brief note suppose uh, this is the sphere suppose this this is a sphere this equatorial plane this equatorial plane we call or we plot in as stereo net so this is the stereo net so first we have to mark the north east south and west okay so in the beginning first we have to mark this and we have to make this stereo net around equatorial projection and for rotation we need to have divider to minimize our error with the help of this we can rotate so now the first problem suppose a bedding plane striking 40 and dipping 60 degree northward we have to find its pole so the theory behind this is this one this is on hand suppose we are holding a pencil with our hand like this so this is just that so this hand you can imagine a plane as in this hand so this is one plane and this pencil which have been hold maintaining a perpendicular relationship this is the pole and this is the plane so this is the trace of that plane on the lower hemisphere of the sphere and if this is the zenith we have to just connect each of the point to that zenith from the spherical projection of that plane this is called spherical projection and when this will give the trace like this or here this will get the trace like this and the stereo net this will be called the equatorial projection and this is called spherical
projection so this is the basic and this pole we need to find so if we draw a vertical plane imaginary plane through this sphere so on that suppose this angle this plane is dipping with a 30 degree angle so on that plane this plane is dipping with 30 degree angle and this pole is perpendicular that is the definition of pole so this is 90 degree so this whole angle is 180 degree so now this so this pole will plunge with 60 degree and just towards the opposite direction suppose this is the west the pole will plunge towards east in the strike deep plunge uh, regarding strike deep plunge we have already the two or three sessions for graphical projection so you can see that for detailed discussion and having proper explanation regarding this so now our question is the bedding plane strike is 40 degree dip is 60 dip amount now towards it is it was said that it is northward so if suppose this is the stereo net this is north and this is east so if the plane is having 40 degree strike so it can dip either towards this or towards this so here it is northward so this part is falling within the northern side so the deep amount will is 60 and deep direction will be 310 if it was written as south then it would have been 130 because of this so here it is the attitude now pole of this just complementary so here it is 60 so pole will be 30 towards 130 but now we have to plot it to the stereo net okay so this is 10 20 30 40 this is 40 so we have to rotate the tracing sheet in such a way that this 40 and 220 this end will be 220 add 180 so the deep amount has been set as 60 degree so this each division is 2 degree 2 4 6 8 10 the larger one are but bolder great circles are 10 with 10 degree interval so 10 20 30 40 50 60 this is the point where 60 degree is lying the vertical plane projection will be this line so 90 80 70 60 you can count in this way too so we have to draw the gate circle
following this bold grid circle of 60 degree and this will be 310 degree told and you have to mark this line here you have to write 60 degree towards 310 degree now we already have calculated the pole numerically but for that since the pole is perpendicular you can see again the pole is perpendicular this hand has been plotted but this pencil we have to plot so this is perpendicular we can go from there to 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 now if you now the pole is a line so so the pole is a line basically so if any line intersects any sphere it will it will intersect in a on a point so if it is the spherical projection is point if you connect it with the zenith on the equatorial part it will intersect as a point so a stereo net projection of any line will be a point so here is the point which is the pole so if you make it round pole and attitude will be just has 0 10 20 30 so you can mark this in this way with the second bracket you may write 30 degree towards this is 310 plus 180 minus 1 30 degree so this is the answer of this first question now we will move to the second question